Alright guys, what's up? I've been in a Sonic the Hedgehog mood lately, so I managed to fire up Sonic World. I actually got my controls working for the first time in a long time. Like, I think the last time I had working controls was Sonic World R6. Anyway, in this video, we're going to be, you know, somewhat going over a stage that I'm currently working on. In this video, we are going to be using R8 because... I don't know, it's the one that I was using when I started making this stage. I'm sure the other ones aren't too different, so it'll work for those eventually. Okay, so basically this is what I got so far. The stage is still unnamed. I haven't determined the name for the uh, the stage yet. But like I said, there's some things to fix. So at the beginning, I noticed like a part that clips. Like I want to change like the whole beginning part. And I noticed that there's a lot of running in this as well. So I'm going to chop up a lot of those... Uh, those you know paths and break them up and put a lot of obstacles and hazards and stuff in a way to you know make it less runny add some more platforming and things like that so since this is my first stage in a long time i decided to try to refresh my memory with everything so i tried to make the use out of a lot of meshes there's going to be some hurt mesh obviously there's going to be some death mesh and there's rail meshes i used the animated textures, I used two different types. I used the scrolling ones, and I used the blinking ones as well. There's also a uh, animesh going on in there. It's still a work in progress. I'm not going to talk too much about it right now. And yeah, that's about it. So like I said, the, the biggest things that stand out to me, like if I was to, you know, give myself constructive criticism, is that some parts of the stage are scaled too big. I plan to fix that. And like I said, there's probably a bit more running than there is platforming. So I need to fix that as well. Oh, before I forget, so I noticed on a lot of my other stages, I would use like a lot of different textures and, you know, I feel like the stages run better and it's a lot more performance friendly to just use as few textures as possible. So you're going to see like a lot of buildings using the same textures and things like that. I feel like it's just better for the engine due to limitations. And, you know, I've noticed this a lot on one of my other stages that I've made that uses a lot of stack textures that when you play it like two or three times the game actually starts to slow down and you need to shut it down and restart it so i want to avoid that on the stage while still making it you know really freaking huge and lengthy with a whole bunch of path pathways because that's how i do with my stages i can't help it so yes i hope you you know watch the video and just let me know what you think in the comments i really appreciate it because i'm really trying to get back into these uh blitzonic making stages and that's it so enjoy see you guys later take care